Here we go again, guys. I'm going to give a little critique of a approach and interaction my student did with this very attractive blonde. He did a great job, but of course, always some things that can be improved. If you're a guy that's watching this and you're thinking, oh, I can never do that. I can never walk up to a woman and introduce myself. That is totally false because I was in exactly the same position as you are. And uh, my student also was in that position. But just like anything, it can be learned. And the foundation is confidence. I know it's a buzzword, but it is very important. I will break that down later on. In any case, here is the approach. Hi. Sorry. Super random. I was just walking the other way. I'm going to be my friend for brunch. And you caught my eye. I had to run back and come talk to you. You're really pretty. Derek did a good job right there on the opening. He painted a picture first, basically telling a story. I like to call it a mini story, which he used to open. And what that does is creates a hook, uh, grabbing her attention so she stops long enough so you can tell her exactly why you're talking to her. It's a little bit more romantic and uh, also more interesting than just running up and blurting out a compliment as well. So Derek did a good job there. Uh, one thing I would critique, however, is when he said sorry. Like the, one of the first things he said was sorry. Hi, sorry. It's a very sort of passive, submissive thing to say to a woman, you know, opening with I'm sorry right away. It doesn't make any sense. You're not doing anything wrong and there's no reason to be sorry right away. It's just a bad habit that many nice guys have. And it's also a big turnoff for a woman when a guy starts being over apologetic but like I said, you know, it's not going to kill this whole interaction just because he said that. But you know, it's something that look at. It's a, a habit to break if you're one of the guys who's also saying sorry to every woman you talk to. What's your name? I'm Derek. I didn't catch your name. I just did hear it. I A. Okay. It's not as cool as the J A way. You gotta have the soft J's. <laughs> yeah. You go for yogs. <laughs> um, are you from Vancouver? I see. You're very friendly. Like you're in like a happy mood. You seem like you're in a happy mood. Oh, yeah. yeah. You going to yoga? YMCA? Why yoga? Why yoga? I've never done yoga. Would you recommend it? All right. He is making a huge mistake here conversationally. What he's doing basically is bantering. It's all superficial conversation. He's not digging deep. He's not really finding out who she is and what she's about. And that's how you create a connection. That's the verbal aspect of creating a connection. There's other things physically, like his body language, his eye contact. But verbally, he is missing the mark here because he's not digging below the surface. He's just, you know, bantering, making jokes, finding out little surface things like what, even what she's doing right now, which will not help him create a connection. This is a big mistake I see guys make all the time. Instead of digging deeper, finding out a topic that's personal to the girl, they end up just talking about really superficial things, small talk, and uh, talking about what she's doing right now, where she's going, and, oh, yoga, and like all this stuff is, is not going to create a connection with her. She's not going to feel it, and if she doesn't feel anything emotionally, she will not respond to text messages, and she will definitely not come, ba come back out on a date. Also, the audio isn't very good. However, she is just giving one-word answers most of the time and responding to his questions pretty directly, not really adding much conversationally. So there's not really much going on here, and Derek is not digging deeper. He's not going below the su surface, not getting past all the superficial stuff. A little bit of banter is good. A little bit of uh, humor and some jokes are okay. But you don't want to stick to that. You don't want that to be the whole conversation. You need to go below the surface and really get to know her. And you have to do it in a short time. Otherwise, you will not get a date. Anyways, the rest of the clip is pretty much the same. It's just more banter, more superficial talk. She's giving one-word answers. Uh, Fonley does ask what he does, which is the most interactive she was during the whole conversation. That's okay. Sometimes it's just because the girl is intimidated, and in in intimidated in a good way, because she's, you know, she'll be like, "Wow, this this cool guy just walked up and talked to me." However, in this case, I don't think that was the case. It's just that he wasn't able to really create a connection. Talked too much as well for, for almost the entire conversation. It was just him until that one question when she asked what he does. So you don't want to dominate the conversation when you go talk to the girl. Get her to talk about herself. Dig deep. Find out some interesting stuff about her. That's how you create a connection. Anyways, we'll close, off, we'll close it off right here. 
with Derek asking for the phone number. Again, notice how he gets apologetic, uh, even asking for the number. Uh, and, you know, sometimes sometimes that's okay. Sometimes you can just state the obvious, saying, yeah, it is awkward or it is random, and that's okay, but you don't want to do it too much. opinion of me. Really. Do you like coffee? We should get a coffee. Yeah. I know this is super random. Yeah, no, I, uh, I do have to go, though. You do. One last note, though. You'll notice that when he asked her for coffee, it sounded like he meant right now. He's like, do you like coffee? We should have a coffee. And so she thought the same thing because he wasn't specifying that he meant for later. And then she's like, yeah, no, I have to go though. It's, you know, because she thought he's going to keep her longer or he wants to go for coffee right away. He didn't actually realize that he meant for a later time. So always important to specify exactly what you mean and mean what you say. And if you like this video and if you want more, subscribe and like. And if you're a guy who wants to up his own game, to up his own confidence, to get better at meeting women and to meet the woman of your dreams, to be able to talk to anybody, increase your social skills, overcome shyness, overcome depression even. That's something I used to suffer from and I overcame it along with social anxiety. If you're one of these guys, I am putting a link in the description. There should also be a link on the video maybe, depending where you're seeing this. Just click on that and you will get more information how, on how you can get help and coaching to get past your own obstacles. Until next time, stay strong.